my freehouse oh is a row of wow. really disturbing things. That is, uh, that's pretty unsettling. Oh my God. Yeah. Look yeah. at that street, man. Can I ask which end of town? Uh, it was East Kildona. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh. We'll have to have a little uh, tete on tete uh, after the fact, after I shut the mic off. I lived there for 10 years, actually. And you're still going. Just such a string of circumstance happening there. Severe right? bad luck or something, right? Yeah, bad vibes. Yeah, well, you could, that house, uh, like I called it cursed, because I mean, like everything went wrong. I, like, I mean, like everybody in that house just had, including me really horrible luck like i ended up losing the house uh, oh. because you know oh. it, well <laughs> there was two of us who bought it and then there was just me right so, well sure how do you keep that afloat that's tried hard my best, but yeah. no it didn't happen no. and i i ended it, up selling it to somebody who rented it back to me and that just went horribly oh so, wow. yeah, yeah. Mm. And then the house, hmm. I don't know, they did a bunch of renovations to it that weren't done properly, and the house developed mold, and I got really sick, and yeah, oh, wow. it was a great place. <laughs> yeah, so kind of like onward and upward almost, right? Like, yeah. 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 Her yeah. for sure. And then your yeah. your boy, your boyfriend, like, was he, did he have signs of depression or something, or? Well, looking back, I, I, you know. How many times does a person say to you, you know, oh, God, I'm just going to kill myself? Mm -hmm. You don't really believe them. No. No. No, and I didn't either. No. Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, looking back, he was coming home, and, like, we both worked at a hospital. Well, Concordia Hospital, actually. You can edit that out, too. But, oh, okay. Um, he, was kind of, he was coming home and, you know, talking about different things that he saw in the emergency room, and, like... I'd find him watching videos of, like, really bad videos of, like, faces of death and awful stuff Ooh. like this. That, like, oh, yeah. yeah that's all good. And, yeah, and I couldn't figure out, like, why he was doing this, but I sort of blew it off, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. In hindsight. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you think he, like, it was, maybe that was a coping mechanism, mechanism, blah, 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 blah. I haven't drank in anything yet today. Uh, a coping <laughs> mechanism or, or something, because why would you... You'd be around it all day, and then you engross yourself in it, like that. Yeah, yeah, no. We, yeah. Well, I found out after the fact too. Like right after we had bought the house, he tried to check himself into the uh, the hospital um, for mental issues too. Like I didn't know that okay. at the time, but I found it out later. Yeah, and truly, honestly, like when people say I want to kill myself or I want to die, those are the people that don't necessarily do it because the ones no. that have that pure intention. Those are the ones that kind of keep everything buried inside, and then they don't yeah, seek attention don't or help or anything, right? Yeah. So, yeah. how would you know? You know? No, like, no. It's like I, I know now, like years and years later, there's zero I could have really done about it. But I mean, I am kind of a dummy that I didn't. I don't know. Well, yeah. yeah. I could, yeah, I couldn't like, have really oh. stopped him anyway. You can't be with somebody twenty four seven, right? Well, no, he's an adult, no. right? So a grown yeah. man, and you know, yeah. But, I can tell you, um, I don't know, about a year later, his father died, and uh, I had his niece from Toronto came to stay with me, and his brother was over at my house, and I was uh, talking to them, they were sitting at my kitchen table, and I was leaning against the counter kind of thing, and both of them, their eyes got huge, and they kind of like looked at each other and looked at me, and I, I was like, what the heck, you know? Mm -hmm. Apparently, yeah. uh, something flew right past me, like behind my back, like right down the counter. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And they, and they saw both saw it. you did it. Pardon me? And they both saw it, though. They both saw it. My back was to it. I did not see it. Yeah. But I mean, no, like, no. Cause I'm just saying because usually, you know, it'd be one or the other, but if two people see the same thing at the same time, oh, yeah. that's and like... They were, like, that was the biggest one. Um, I don't know, like, you, it was kind of, like, actually, when the two of them showed up, the niece and the brother, you could feel, I don't know, I could feel anyway, it was almost, you could cut the air with a knife, you know, mm -hmm. like, it was almost, um, I don't know, it was almost like, I felt like he was excited that they were there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like, I, they felt it also, like, like you the could, energy, you right? feel it. Yeah. 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 Huh. Um. And like how how what was the time from the time he passed to the time that they showed up? Like how much time in between? Oh, not very long. Okay. Um, it was maybe within a month or something oh, okay. like this. 
And that was like sort of like the first time that he's he kind of made an appearance, or like well, to not yourself, much. Or... like I sort of I sort of thought things were a little odd too. Like mm-hmm. I would smell stuff like like he smoked weed, right? And okay. I didn't. <laughs> and not then, anyway. I didn't, and suddenly I'd smell it. Right. You know, I mean, like right. okay, he's got a stash around here somewhere. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I'd smell it all the time, and there was nobody else there but me. Right. Stuff like that. Mm. Uh, lights. Oh well, my my dog would go nutty. Um, we had like Christmas kind of lights, twinkly light things hanging on our garage, mm-hmm. and uh, they would go on and off. Like if we were outside for a fire or something, the lights the lights would turn themselves off and on, and my dog would sit and howl at the garage all the time. Oh really? Yeah. And even got so like I was. It was upset obviously at first and stuff I wouldn't even go in there but I kind of got over it and oh, yeah. I'd be looking for stuff like say I'm working on the yard couldn't find something that I needed and I'd, I'd sort of say in my head okay Glenn where is it and yeah. I'd walk away and come yeah. back five minutes later and it would be right there okay. like right there mm-hmm. it wasn't there before yeah, yeah. either that or I'm about the blindest person in the world but I mean it, it consistently I did it a bunch of times mm-hmm. yeah so, um, I don't know what else I can tell you. And then how long from the time you passed to the time that you moved out? I know you said you'd rented a bit, but how? Oh, too long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I really didn't have much. Well, I was all in on this house. It was finances, and I just really didn't. I, I had people renting from me. and right. Yeah, that went on. I, I probably stayed there a good five or six years after. Wow, that is quite yeah. long. Yeah. Well, I was determined to save the house because that was the one thing he had said to me was, you know, should anything happen, don't you dare, dare lose, this, lose this house, right? Oh, so, yeah, right. yeah. I, I was determined that wasn't going to happen, but yeah. yeah. I know, that's a tough one, that's a tough one, right? Because you guys put your, your heart and soul into the house and that was yeah. your thing together and I mean your last memory of him was there, you know, and, right. mm-hmm. and how long were you guys together, like overall? Not very long, um, actually only two years. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, just long enough to buy a house and, yeah. and leave me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and did he ever say or felt anything of the other fellow that had uh, done the no. house or done the garage? No. No, um, like my daughter, used, uh, actually she still likes to play with Ouija board side and I mm. do it and that kind of thing myself. Um, but, yeah, no. Uh, she did a Ouija session in the garage, and we filmed her, and there were all kinds of worms flying around her. Oh, freaky! Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. There was. That yeah. is freaky. But yeah, I'm leave, leave the garage. Just go, go from the garage. Pardon me. Just leave the garage. <laughs> yeah. Leave the garage. Just yeah. the garage. <laughs> After that. Yeah, I tried. I actually tried to get a priest in there to bless it because. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty bad. Like, I'd take my, my garbage out pretty much through the garage. There was no really other gate to use. So I, it got a little bit ridiculous. I was, like, climbing over the fence with the garbage. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. People watching you. What the hell? <laughs> well, there was that church right on the corner there. You could have got a priest or a pastor from there, probably. Yeah, I guess right? I could have. Yeah, it was. It was right down the line from me, right? I know. <laughs> That's funny. Um... But, yeah, no, I'm sorry that all happened to you because, man, I mean, it's one thing to find that one person passes in the garage and then the person that, the last person you would think, right? Right, yeah. Why? Yeah. Whatever. Like I said, it was, it was a long time ago. It was character building about that. Sure. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger? That, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Let's go with that. No. Yeah. We can, we can identify. Well, that's, at least now you've, you know, rebuilt your life and you've moved on and, and he didn't go with you, right? So Yeah. I Nothing don't think so, no. No. The place I'm in now is pretty pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all for normal. Yay. <laughs> normal. That's normal. That's normal. 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 normal is a setting on the dryer, so I'm told. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah. No, thank you for sharing that story with us because like yeah, you know thank you. that's just that's horrific. Yeah. Oh, oh thank, do, thank you. I mean, I wish I was a better storyteller. No, no. But do do I no. dare ask, like, did you find him or did somebody else find him? It was me. Oh, God, Lori. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, 
Did you? Well, I kind of uh, just put it out of my head. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And then we brought it yeah. back, so I'm sorry. No. Oh God, no! I wouldn't have volunteered to do this. That's yeah. Fine. No, but you if know, something good can come out of it, then why not? Right? Well, this I is. Think. And this is why we like to tell other people's stories and have people tell their own stories because, you know what, there's probably a lot of people out there that live with stuff like this and, and they can relate, but they got nobody to kind of right. soundboard it off of, right? Well, this is it, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's a taboo topic. Like, for the longest time after that happened, mm -hmm. I was almost, uh, like I said to my sister, it's almost like being a movie star, but in a really bad way. Like right, everyone's people looking at you, you and, and they, they want to come and talk to you. And yeah. that's the, you don't want to talk to anybody and you don't want to rehash everything. So, like, actually, yeah. we both worked at the hospital, and I remember oh. going there. I was off for some time after that happened. No and I remember going there to talk to my boss, and it was pretty much, it was literally ended up me doing a near jog down the hallway with all kinds of people running after me, wanting to talk to me. Oh my god, and, really, eh? Yeah, it was bad. Uh, oh. yeah. yeah. But I guess but, that's a, a, what you say, it's a good analogy, right? Like, it's just, like, you're yeah. a movie star, but a bad kind of... Yeah, bad yeah. movie star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But, uh, well, you're in a new relationship, you were saying. That's wonderful. And all the best to you in, in love, life, and healing, really. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, no, things are going pretty well now. I, I'm glad that stuff's over. So. For sure. Glad I can help you with the podcast. Yeah, anytime. You got any stories? Well, or, yeah, you no. Know, just get in I contact. I can tell you about the Street Jail where I almost grew up in the basement. You did, eh? Yeah, you guys were there too, right? I that, was... That's when I saw you at the the uh, doors open or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know no, we were I... there We were there the day before. Like, Cher wasn't there, but our, our Phil and Jen was. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, there's just, there was one cell in there I just could not go in, and then when Jen went in there, her camera was going all wonky in there too, right? Is that right? I yeah. believe it. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know the part where you go down and there's the woman dressed up as a, a well, a whorehouse person, whatever. That's our friend, <laughs> that's our friend Tylene from our other podcast we're yes, starting. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she was dressed up, it was very interesting. That's so funny. But then at the tail end, they, they, you know, send you down where the, the really gross cells are and stuff. Yeah. And I'm walking down that hall and I'm sort of getting a, not so much at first, but by the time I reached that end of that hallway, I really didn't feel good. Yeah. And my sister yeah. was with me and she's like, oh, uh, oh, look, you can go into the cell. Yeah. Oh, do you want to go over there? Go in. And I'm just like, no. Bad energy. <laughs> like, totally bad energy, yeah. No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, <Excuse exactly. me. laughs> You know what freaks me out though in, in the cells in one of those cells there they have a mannequin sort of like a set up like as a prisoner or whatever and and now that we know that there was that mannequin from the Man of Nature Museum that was known to like its head move and follow yeah. people and shit like that and it was the same kind of looking mannequin and I'm like are you fucking kidding get that thing out of here like are you trying to ask it to be possessed by a ghost in the jail like come on oh my god it looked the same it had that waxy kind of old mannequin leftover oh, oh yeah oh yeah. But well, they got rid of that the museum mannequin. She was bad news, though. Bad news, yeah. Yeah, but they believe it. Somewhere. But yeah, like um, through the doll mart on um, the doors open, we met Tylene because uh, she volunteers like for all those places type deal, and she's a younger girl, and she's a nice girl. She's like a psychic medium, and she's joined forces with this other friend of ours that we know, and they're actually going to be actually doing investigations because she's kind of can help people cross over and, and just interpret spirits and energy and stuff so at the jail no well the girl from the jail that that oh, okay. the whore yeah. the prostitute <laughs> the hooker. yeah get that get that whatever it is out of there it's nasty whatever it is yeah so but uh yeah that's funny like just the whole roundabout connection there <laughs> yeah, yeah, it. yeah so cool. okay well thank you so much Lori. thanks for coming on the show thank you for telling us your story and uh thank you again uh keep in touch and uh yeah, no thanks problem. thanks for listening to us we truly appreciate it no problem at all okay thanks, have man. a great night okay, right. okay bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Ooh, it's just you and i you and i you and i we can't sing worth a shit i guess she would just do karaoke when that comes up then just you <laughs> and i you, I can't even hit those notes. Forget that. Like, 
Well, so, that's some other Googler stuff to do there. My God. I know. Like, that's a bad street, apparently. Shit. 